Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This book it got recommended to me, I think under those Amazon recommendations. Maybe it came from somebody else, an article I read. So I got it, and it looks wonderful. I just wanted to present it to you, let you know it's out there. I haven't had time to read it, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And so it is the victory of reason, how Christianity led to freedom, capitalism, and Western success by Rodney Stark. Now, before we get inside, I did want to read just a couple of the blurbs that come with it. The first is on the front cover by the Wall Street Journal, and it says, A tour de force, a fun book to read, full of anecdote and incident, delights as well as instructs. And then the New York Post says it's terrific. Read this book. George Weigel, Ethics and Public Policy Director, Embracing Antidote to the Secular Smog that Chokes Education Today. Um, Richard Newhouse, Editor of Chief of First Things, and one of the 25 most influential evangelicals in America, according to Time, really pushes this. The New York Times book review says provocative. Rodney Stark is to be commended for celebrating the rational element of Christian religion and culture, a part that deserves celebration and needs to be recovered. So here's what it looks like on the inside. This book actually came out in 2005. So this is just going to tell you the subjects. But again, it looks just really amazing. And I really want to get into this book. Hopefully I get the time to do that sometime. We do multiple videos every day but Sunday, God willing, and we do multiple uh, podcasts with our Biblical Archaeology Today and besides pastoring and all of the other things I do, teaching in IBC, it gets busy. So coal power, capitalism moves north. I'm reading some of this. Man, the number of congregations in the 13 colonies by denomination in 1776, Congregational, Presbyterian, Baptist, that is a fantastic, I'm going to have Sister Waldron zoom in on that, Huguenot, saint Dominican, Jewish, Mennonite, Dunker, Methodist, that's incredible, Quakers, a lot of Quakers, and Quakers, well, till about 1700, Quakers were basically oneness, so that's pretty interesting. So let's see how many pages this guy is. It's not a big book. And uh, it's got decent size print in it. So let's see, not a lot of room to write, but it's a... Mm, two, it's, boy, look at the bibliography. Footnotes, I mean. Acknowledgements. It's uh, 237 pages, and then it's got a huge bibliography small print humongous and then an index beyond that and it's probably a 11 point print should be pretty easy for most people to read um, boy and look at the details he's got like at the end of that century the English exported 31,700 cloths and only 13,900 sacks of wool so I mean it just when it goes into all of these details, which I'm a very detailed oriented person, many of you are as well. <sighs> Sounds great, doesn't it? So God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Put it on your social media. Share with your friends. Hit subscribe, bell notification. We hope to see you every day. God bless you greatly. It's our prayer in Jesus' name.